Yo, it's your boy Jenna. In today's video, we have Fairy Tale Honey Year Quest Episode 2. And you guys, I think I really like this episode. It's like a classic fairy tale show. A lot, I, I feel like a lot happened in the second episode. So, yeah, we're gonna go really fast paced here with the play by play. And yeah, I'm gonna just tell you how the episode went for me. Yeah, and yeah, not too in the game. They went to like this brand new town. So they went to this hotel and check in, right? And uh, when they went inside, there was like a weird fish there in the counter. And no one really knew what it was doing there. Um, it made Happy happy because he loves his fish. And then he turns into a human because of magic, right? And yeah, he said he was, and yeah, he claimed he was asleep. He turned human, claims he's like a fish, so. I was kind of suspicious of this weird fish person here, but yeah, it looks like he had to go. But before he did, uh, he told everyone to drink a potion, and if they didn't, uh, things would be very bad for them. And yeah, they trusted him. Later that day, uh, looks like everyone fell asleep, and yeah, Gray Fullbuster was the last one to fall asleep, and then he wakes up full of water and yeah it looks like he wasn't like drowning or anything and yeah it turns out that that potion they drink was actually it helps them breathe underwater and swim faster too as we learned that this world was not we learned that this world is actually an underwater place not like a, the one we just saw where it was like landish. And the butler we got to see, he was like the the manager of this whole fish kingdom or whatever. His name is Kashima. And yeah, it looks like he is an actual fish. And yeah, he was just explaining how the world works and the potion. But nothing here, just to, just saying what things, how are like in this world. And yeah, uh, things get really bad for them when uh, Gray was asking where he could find the water god dragon. And yeah, this made all the fish kind of mad at the fairy tale guild here. Only, only because of, only because uh, they wanted to know where this water god guy is. And we found out that there are some other people here, frequently, who uh, seems like they wanted to attack this water god demon. So yeah, these fish got mad at the fairy tale guild because they're probably assuming that. They're there for the same reason, so yeah, they are, they are gonna attack, but they're fish, so they're not gonna hurt them. So it was it looked like it was easy for the fairy tale guild to run away. And then of course, classic Lucy here uh, loses her top. Like, yeah, this happens to Lucy like a lot of times over the whole season of fairy tale. Yeah, it looks like it's not gonna stop because it actually happens twice in this episode, so. We expect a lot about that later on. And yeah, we go back to the fairy tale headquarters where like Makarov is and all the other fairy tale members that are not with the uh, Natsu. Yeah, it looks like they're just there for fun banter. And yeah, we're they're still trying to find out this new character. Yeah, they're they're still trying to like find some there's yeah, there's the new character, Toka. Uh for whatever reason they saw that she had like a tail here there and it just suddenly disappeared probably because of magic there but yeah very suspicious there so there's something with Toka where there's some like very shady things about her that we don't know about yet yeah and then we get to see what the saber two people are doing yeah it's been a while since we've seen them but they were there actually when the probably at the end of the season fairy tale too uh, and yeah, we're seeing what they're doing too. Uh, it looks like uh, Jalal's gang. Uh, what, were they, what were they called? Like, they had a name for them, but yeah, it was Jalal and the uh, girl Sorano, whatever her name is. Yeah, she got to see her little sister uh, Yukino. If you remember Yukino from like the Grand Magic Guild games, where she had like a little part of the story. 
not gonna lie. I was a big fan of her. For whatever reason, maybe because of the white hair, but yeah. I don't know why, but she became my favorite for like the whole saber tooth. And yeah, we get to see everybody else. Well, just mostly uh, Rogue and Sting. They still look good. And then Froge, fan favorite. Lecter, man, eh, no one really remembers Lecter. And yeah, it looks like Jalo was actually trying to look for someone. And it was actually the same girl that that was brand new for the fairy tale guild, uh, Tolka. So why is he looking for her? Yeah, it looked like he said that she was like a very dangerous person saying that if you see her, uh, don't just run away and wish, just pray it, nothing bad happens. So it's a little bit interesting there. So yeah, then we go back to the fairy tale with Natsu. Yeah, they went to like hiding mode, trying to figure out what to do next. Uh, Natsu probably wants to like fight all the fish, but uh, that's probably not a good idea and they need more information of like why these fish attack them for no reason so yeah they, they just decide to go hiding and get more information and it's like Natsu was kind of bum about this he had like a cute moment with uh, Urza saying that like like he, she knows that he wants to kill this dragon but he might be a good dragon or we don't know the full story yet so they can't just go full guns blazing just yet and then if they do attack if they do attack his friend then that's when he's gonna go all out so yeah they go in disguise mode the disguises were pretty funny they got the disguise as like little fishes with their cute little face and yeah they, they found that this weird prisoner that they found and she had like a Looked like a fairy or uh, a guild tattoo in her arm, and it looks like she actually got caught on purpose. She was trying to find the water god dragon and fight it, and there was a reason why she fought it. And yeah, we found out that she has like god slay magic too, kind of like not too, but way probably better. Where she just like slashes anything, like through like water through air seems like anything and yeah we did yeah we did get to see the dragon but it wasn't surprising that it wasn't it because it took like three shots before it got sliced up into like little pieces of meat and yeah she ate it she's like the fifth generation of like these of, uh, of dragon slayer magic saying that Eating dragons makes them makes her powerful. Uh, that sounds cool, but weren't like dragons like super rare or something like that? So where does she find like more dragons? But I guess there are five left. So so I guess it looks like there's still five dragons left. Kind of wonder why uh, Agnologia didn't attack these guys when he ate all the dragons. I guess some weird problem there. And yeah, look like, and yeah, look like, and yeah, she kind of felt felt uh, Natsu's power, so she wanted to fight him. And it looks like they nerfed Natsu, like he can't even use his fire dragon underwater. I remember there was an episode where he used fire dragon under an episode, so did they nerf him, or why can't he use his power? So right? oh, yeah, there was like a huge fight with Natsu, uh, Lucy, and this uh, blade dragon person. Yeah, it was a good fight. And this is where Urza comes into. And now the whole gang is here. Gray. Everyone's trying to fight her. And then her bodyguard comes in. Looks like he's like also another dragon slain magic user. Where his specialty is like hardening. Like his he has like scales as like a skin, so as we see, like he get like Urza tries to attack him, but the blade didn't do nothing, but like just nothing. So yeah, he has like very thick skin, and things get even more interesting when the the water dragon god comes in and pulls up, pulls like a like he takes out all the water out out of the whole place they were at. 
and yeah. And yeah, it looks like there's gonna be like a huge three-way fight between them, the fairy tale wheel, and the god slain people. And yeah, guys, that is the end of the episode. We're at the cliffhanger with the with that crazy story. So yeah, they went really fast with this story. Already finding, already founding the one of the gods tower, one of the water god, one of the water god dragons already in the second episode. So. Yeah, I didn't mess around with wasting no time. Uh, <clears throat> just some things about... Yeah, I didn't like the way they treated Lucy yet again. They always treat her like a, an object. She gets like... Her clothes always get like ripped off and... Yeah, it just gets tired when that happens for, for whatever reason. But yeah guys, other than that man, wow, just a great episode great like introduction with the new characters new villains whatever they were I mean, my guess is they're villains these god slain people and the water god guy looks very interesting and uh, the gaggio and juvia thing it's it's a little weak but we'll see what they do with that we're mysterious girl see where that goes but you guys let me know your thoughts on episode two and be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you next one peace